After printing more than 50 hours of files on my 3D printer, these are the things that I found are gonna really improve dust collection in your shop. The first thing I wanna show you is this Cyclone. Now, I know you can buy these. Uh, they can get a little pricey, and to my surprise, this printed fairly easily. It is a two-part print. They are threaded, which means once you're finished printing them, you screw them together. And I was really impressed at the fact that you don't need any supports. Even though you can see the inside is all spiraled, no supports required and it printed perfectly. So the only problem that I ran into with this was that the ports did not fit my hoses. So for the top, I am using a rigid uh, shop vac and that has a two and a quarter inch hose. So I made an adapter for that. Now for the side port, I'm using a one and a half inch hose. I bought this one on Amazon. The brand is called Centec. I'll link it in the description. It comes with lots of cool accessories and parts that clip on really easily. I did make two adapters for this. The first one allows you to use the quick connect and basically all you need to do is just slide it right in. It has these holes here and they lock in pretty easily just by squeezing the sides and so now it's locked in. If you wanted to use a quick connect for one of the accessories and you don't have to use this adapter, you can just simply remove it, slide in this other adapter and then connect from the other end of the hose which is just the basic friction fit. You're gonna need a five gallon bucket with a lid. And what you need to do to hook this up is to create an opening large enough in the middle of the lid to accommodate the hole at the bottom of the cyclone. I also printed this part here, which is meant for this cyclone. It installs on the opposite side of the lid and it gives it some strength. So I'm using this. Also, I'm using some silicone because that's gonna create a perfect seal so no fine dust can get out. All the files that I'm going to show you here in this video are free to download, including the parts that I created. If you'd like to see them, I will put the links in the description below. Let's give this a try. Let's close this up. I did clean out the shop vac. That way we can get an idea of how good this thing really works. I also cleaned out the filter. I'm going to pull out some dust from the bottom of my table saw. This is my hose from before. I'm going to use my quick connect on this. Well, here is the moment of truth. Let's check this out. Looks like there's a lot of stuff in this pail. Let's take a look inside the vac. And the vac has a little bit of fine dust on the bottom, but it's pretty clean. I'm impressed. This works pretty well. I'm happy with it. If you use a router, then you know that these things are really messy and they create a lot of dust in the shop. I found two options that are going to help you with that problem. Both of them are plates that are meant to be used by swapping out the original plate and installing these. The holes line up perfectly and they work perfectly well with the screws that held the original plate into the router itself. These are both the same except that one has the extended base. They are meant to be used on the Makita trim router. However, I found lots of other ones for all the name brands that are out there. So just do a search and you should be able to find them. Another nice thing about the file that I'm sharing with you is that there's a whole bunch of different size ports that come in the download. So you can pick which one is best for the dust collection that you have. To test this out, I'm going to use this bit to flush up these boards. If you notice, you don't really see any dust coming out of this. I'm actually shocked at how well this really works. And to confirm my thoughts here, there is a lot of dust in this pail. This is going to be a mainstay here in my shop. If you have a dust collection system and you're using PVC, you're going to like this blast gate. This one works fairly well and it's really easy to connect. I've been using these metal ones and I really don't like them that much because they're difficult to make connections to PVC piping. Uh, it is four pieces and you're going to need quarter inch bolts to connect everything. The file includes options for an inside diameter and an outside diameter connection. So depending how you want to set up your dust collection, it's going to work no matter what. If you're going to go with the inside diameter opening, it fits perfectly to a 4 inch PVC pipe. 
the outside diameter opening fits very nicely to my tool ports. My preferred blast gate has now become this. This is a ball valve style blast gate. I actually showed this to you guys on my last 3D print video and I absolutely love it. I think it's better, it also it's easier to mount and it's really gonna improve my dust collection setup here in a workshop. I've been wanting to do this for a while. I really hate these blast gates and it's a little bit too high up. At the time I didn't have enough PVC pipes so I'm taking it all down and I'm gonna replace it with this new setup. If you have or plan on setting up a dust collection system with PVC piping, in my opinion, this is the best stuff to use to make those connections. This is silicone tape and I love it because it creates an airtight connection, but it's not permanent so you can easily take it off. This is how it works. It is not sticky, but when it makes contact with itself, it bonds extremely well. These ball valves do require assembly. I have used CA glue, but here I'm using Weld On 16 because it's a stronger bond. I'll tell you a little bit more about this later in the video. If you're gonna be using your 3D printer more frequently in your shop, I would recommend you pick up a set of assorted screws like the ones I have here. Metric is probably best because many modelers are gonna use the metric measurements over Imperial. This kit here has a nice variety of sizes, so if you want to check it out, I will link it below in the description. To install these valves, the brackets must be mounted on the wall first, and then you can attach the valves. This setup blows away what I had before. This is a coupling, and this allows you to extend a 4-inch hose. You can definitely buy these in the market, but if you have a 3D printer, why waste the money? Since we're on the topic of connecting 4-inch hoses, this is another way that you can connect a 4-inch hose to a PVC pipe. This eliminates the need of any kind of clamp. All you need to do is allow the wire and the hose to travel along the threads of the coupling, and you have a perfect fit. Once you thread the two together, you can then connect it to your PVC piping using any kind of bond you wish. Here's one last print that I think you might find useful that you can tie into your dust collection system. This is very much like Rockler's Quick Connect. All you need to do is tie in a hose to the end of this and you can connect to any tool in the shop very easily. But I found that this did not fit my hose very well so I made an adapter and then I thought of something else which I think you're gonna like. Now you could simply just glue this on then connect your hose, use a clamp and call it a day. But then I thought why not use the same threaded piece that I showed you earlier glue it onto the adapter and now you can thread any hose you like on here and you don't need a clamp. There are different ways to glue up 3D printed parts. I'm going to be using Weld On 16. This is one of the stronger adhesives. The only downside is that it takes a little bit longer to set up. If you want to check this out, I'll put the link below. To be honest, once I realized this didn't fit my 4 inch flex hose, I almost decided to leave it out of this video. But then I decided I'd try making the adapter and then I found the threaded connector and well, once that happened, I realized that this is really something I'm gonna use a lot. It's really gonna improve my workflow. One of the worst machines when it comes to dust collection is the rigid oscillating sander. These two dust shrouds are two options that will improve that problem. They both require some assembly and I'm again using the Weld On 16 to attach these pieces. The red one here uses a two and a half inch flex hose while the blue one uses your standard four inch hose. Now this blue shroud can be permanently mounted by screwing into the tabletop. I am definitely not gonna be doing that. Instead, I'm just gonna be using double sided tape. Obviously, there's a lot of suction here since it's tied to my two horsepower dust collection system, but man, what a difference using a dust shroud. This one is so much more convenient because it attaches using the star knob that holds the bracket down. The dust collection is definitely not as effective here. I think the biggest reason is that the port is only two and a half inches. Still, this definitely beats the built-in dust collection. This one's gonna be useful for just about everyone. This collects dust when you're drilling on a vertical surface. 
I feel like everybody should have one of these. I mean, who doesn't drill a hole in a wall from time to time to hang something or fix something? And it's always so annoying that there's a mess left behind. Definitely keeping this one. Last but not least, we're gonna improve dust collection on the drill press. And as you know, the drill press does not have dust collection. This was designed by me and it connects to the Sentec hose simply by snapping the two pieces together. It really looks like it's not working very well, but just wait and see how much is collected in my pail. I think we forget how messy using a foreskin bit can be when you're not using dust collection. Remember, all of these prints are available for free, including the ones that I designed. All the links are in the description. All the other things that I use are also in the description. If you have any ideas on what I could add to a video like this in the future, please put those in the comments. That is everything I have here for you today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this one was a helpful one. I'll see you soon in the next one. Take care, everybody.